Imagine you are looking through a catalogue, trying to find a specific pair of jeans. You would look at the start of the jeans section and go through each pair one at a time until you find what you are looking for. The key thing here is one at a time, and this is known as linear searching. Say for example you are given an unsorted list of usernames like this. The way the algorithm works is very simple. If you want to find Bill01 in the list of usernames, the way the algorithm works is, you start at index 0 and see if this contains Bill01. If it does, you found your item. If it does not, you move on to the next one. You keep looping around the list until you either do or do not find what you are looking for. The linear search algorithm is one of the simplest to code. It also works well on sets of data that are not in order. However, as the list gets larger, the algorithm will take longer to find the item you are looking for, depending on where it is. How do we program an algorithm like this though? Well, all linear searches are identical. You start at the beginning of a list and work your way through it until you find the item you are looking for. You will set a boolean variable to true if you find what you are looking for and false if you don't. Let's assume you are looking for the user Bill01 in an array called MyArray. The array will have the same values as we saw previously. The pseudocode for this algorithm is as follows. Let's break down this code. First we need two variables. The variable user search is what we're looking for. The variable found flag is either going to be true if we find what we're looking for or false if we do not. Next we need to loop through our array. If we find what we are looking for, then set the found flag to true so we know that it has been located. We've seen the code for a linear search algorithm and in theory how it works. But what are the stages it goes through in order to find an item in a list? Let's create a trace table to work through this algorithm and see what is happening step by step. In our algorithm we have three variables, user search, item and found flag. We'll also track what is in the myArray list at the current element we're searching through. First, we need to record the values of any variables that are initialized at the beginning. We now enter our loop. The first time around the loop, we check the first array item, which is Fred01. This doesn't match the search string, so we do nothing. The second time around the loop, we check the second array item, which is Alice03. This doesn't match the search string, so we do nothing. The third time around and we check the third array item, which is Hamza22. This doesn't match the search string, so we do nothing. The fourth time around and we check the fourth array item, which is Bill01. This does match the search string, so we can flag that we found a search item. Our linear search at this point will continue to go through the rest of the list looking for further matches until it reaches the end. If we wanted to, we could use a break command to exit the loop immediately. This would make the code more efficient rather than wasting time searching even after the search item is found. So, a linear search is a standard algorithm for finding an item in a list. It starts at the beginning of a list and loops through each item until you find what you are looking for. It can be used on unsorted as well as sorted lists of data. The algorithm is very good for small lists, but is less effective for larger lists.